Hello everybody. Uh, in this session, uh, we are going to uh, talk about iron, uh, importance of iron, uh, iron rich uh, vegetarian recipe and iron rich uh, non-veg recipes. Um, iron of course is uh, uh, type 1 nutrient, uh, very important because uh, almost 60 to 65 percent women and children of India are iron deficient. Uh, extremely important because uh, you know uh, although people are eating uh, iron uh, rich food but the, uh, uh, it looks like there's absorption problem you know uh, another thing is people are eating a lot more uh, vegetarian source of iron uh, vegetarian source also has phytates uh, oxalates you know which prevents the absorption of iron it binds with iron uh, so if if somebody's uh, non-veg uh, do recommend them to have uh, you know a liver uh, or uh, you know eggs uh, those are highly bioavailable iron uh, or uh, mutton uh, one of the complication of iron uh, in pregnant um, women is uh, premature birth uh, or low birth weight babies okay so to avoid low birth weight babies uh, it's important that we recommend uh, food which is high uh, in iron to this mothers during pregnancy and even during uh, uh, you know uh, adolescent age because uh, many of these young girls have very heavy period you know uh, so it's important that we recommend iron rich food uh, another thing is that uh, when you have a non heme iron which is coming from vegetarian source, uh, you required vitamin C with it. So make sure that we uh, talk about uh, food which is high in vitamin C, uh, which is going to be coming up in uh, our second session, uh, uh, vitamin C rich uh, food, you know. Um, uh, another thing is that uh, iron also causes, uh, especially in children, when children are iron deficient, uh, they have, uh, you know, cognition problem, you know, they, their intelligence suffer. And uh, once they're diagnosed with uh, iron deficiency anemia, uh, you know, that uh, cognition has already uh, suffered, you know, uh, and it's irreversible. So it's important that to, right from six months onward, we recommend iron rich food. Uh, and I definitely recommend at least one egg a day uh, for the children because uh, egg does have a good valuable iron. Um, uh, other problems of uh, iron deficient anemia, there is a lot of, uh, you know, uh, what we see is uh, uh, depression, we see a lot of mental illnesses with iron, okay. So that is one more reason to kind of make sure that uh, our people are not iron deficient. Uh, in tribal areas, almost 90% of women are iron deficient. So definitely, you know, uh, we need to kind of work more uh, or on iron uh, deficiency anemia. Uh, there are different causes of anemia. Iron is one of them. There are other causes like vitamin B12, uh, folate. Uh, so there are other causes, an inflammatory cause of uh, uh, anemia. Uh, but of course, iron is the most common uh, cause of anemia in the country. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on the importance of iron. In this tutorial, we will learn about benefits of iron in our body, causes and symptoms of its deficiency, food sources of iron. Iron is required for several vital functions in the body. It is a major component of hemoglobin and myoglobin. Hemoglobin is present in red blood cells. It helps to carry oxygen from lungs to different parts of the body. Myoglobin transports and stores the oxygen in muscle cells. We require iron for growth, brain function, memory and concentration. It is also required for cell function and hormone synthesis. It aids in energy production and formation of myelin. Myelin is an insulation layer 
that forms around the nerves. Iron also helps in maintaining strong immunity and improving gut health. Our body has 70% of iron in red blood cells. 25% is stored as ferritin in the liver, spleen and bone marrow. 6% of iron is a component of protein. Protein is required for immune functions, metabolism and collagen synthesis. We will now learn about the causes of iron deficiency. Poor intake of iron and its poor absorption are major causes of its deficiency. Worm infestation, bacterial and viral infections are some of the other causes. Excessive blood loss during menstruation and delivery can also lead to deficiency. Lead poisoning is another factor that can cause iron deficiency. In lead poisoning, there is a decreased production of hemoglobin. Excessive destruction of the red blood cells due to malaria is also a risk factor. Iron storage in a full-term pregnant woman can meet the infant's iron requirement. This is sufficient until the infant turns 4 to 6 months. However, preterm and low birth weight babies have poor iron stores. They become deficient within the first two months. An iron deficient pregnant woman will transfer less iron to the fetus. Amount of iron in the brain reduces in case of intrauterine iron deficiency. It also affects the baby's brain functions. Children and adolescents are at a higher risk of deficiency. Women of reproductive age are also at the risk. I will now tell you the causes of iron deficiency in children. The most common cause in children is inadequate intake and rapid growth. Low birth weight is another cause. Iron deficiency causes anemia. It is a condition where the iron stores in the body are depleted. This reduces the supply of iron to tissues and red blood cells. Let us understand the signs and symptoms of deficiency. Brittle nails or spoon nails are symptoms of iron deficiency. In spoon nails, the soft nails look scooped out. Pale skin and swelling of the tongue also occur due to the deficiency. Weakness, shortness of breath, headache, tiredness are other examples. Pica is also one of the symptoms of iron deficiency. Pica is an intake of inedible substances like clay or soil. In adults, iron deficiency can contribute to depression. This is because of its connection with dopamine. Dopamine is called a happy hormone which makes us feel good. Iron is required for the production of dopamine. Deficiency of iron leads to low levels of dopamine. Iron deficiency has serious effects on infants and children's health. Deficiency of iron during pregnancy can cause deficiency in the fetus. This can affect language learning and behavior in children. Altered coordination and motor function are also seen. It also causes a disruption in the development of the nervous system. Deficiency of iron inhibits the formation of myelin sheath around nerves. This can lead to hyperactivity and lack of attention in children. We will now see how anemia can be prevented in children. Delayed cord clamping at the time of birth helps to prevent deficiency. It improves the iron stores in the baby for first 6 months. This reduces the risk of iron deficiency. After 6 months, Iron-rich food should be given through complementary food. I will tell you 
the food sources of iron in the later part of the tutorial. I will now tell you the recommended intake of iron. Recommended dietary intake of iron per day differs for different age groups. 6 to 12 month old infants require 3 mg. 1 to 3 years old require 8 mg. For 4 to 9 years old it is 11 to 15 mg. 10 to 15 year old boys require 16 to 22 mg. 10 to 15 year old girls require 16 to 30 mg. For adult men it is 19 mg. For adult women it is 29 mg. To meet these requirements it is advised to include iron rich food. Let us look at the food sources of iron. Dietary iron is present in two forms, heme iron and non-heme iron. Heme iron comes from hemoglobin and myoglobin found in meat. Hence, non-vegetarian food are good sources of heme iron. For example, goat meat, chicken, goat liver and brain. Non-heme iron comes from vegetarian food. For example, legumes, grains and green leafy vegetables. Heme iron is absorbed well in the body. Non-heme iron is not absorbed well and is affected by some factors. Only 17% of it gets absorbed. Calcium and phytates present in food inhibit the absorption of non-heme iron. Roasting, germination and fermentation helps in reducing the phytate content. Process for germination and fermentation is explained in other tutorials. Please visit our website for more details. To improve the absorption of iron, it is recommended to have vitamin C. Vitamin C helps in better absorption of iron. Non-heme iron absorption is improved when combined with heme iron. We will now see the amount of iron present in different food items. 100 grams of goat liver has around 6 milligrams of iron. 100 grams of mutton has approximately 2 milligrams. 100 grams of chicken breast has nearly 1 milligram of iron. 100 grams of spinach has approximately 2.9 milligrams. 30 grams of kidney beans have around 1.8 milligrams. Include these foods in your daily diet for good health. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on iron rich vegetarian recipes. In this tutorial, we will learn about benefits of iron in our body, preparation of a few vegetarian recipes. Iron is required for several vital functions in the body. It is a major component of hemoglobin and myoglobin. Hemoglobin is present in the red blood cells. It helps to carry oxygen from lungs to different parts of the body. Myoglobin transports and stores the oxygen in the muscle cells. The importance of iron has been explained in another tutorial. Please visit our website for more details. Let us now see the preparation of the recipes. Before we begin, note that one bowl mentioned in this tutorial is 150 milliliters. The first recipe is fenugreek dumplings curry. To make this recipe, you will need 30 grams or 2 tablespoons roasted gram flour, 1 bowl of washed and chopped fenugreek leaves, 2 chopped tomatoes, 1 small chopped onion, 
handful of washed and chopped mint leaves handful of washed and chopped coriander leaves one chopped green chili you will need 1 teaspoon of red chili powder turmeric powder coriander powder sesame seeds cumin seeds mustard seeds you will also need 1 teaspoon of oil you will need salt as per taste procedure in a bowl add gram flour salt green chili and fenugreek leaves to this add sesame seeds half teaspoon turmeric powder and mix well add water little by little and make a dough out of it take small pieces of the dough and shape them into oval dumplings you will be able to make approximately 10 to 11 dumplings place the dumplings on a steaming plate add one glass of water in a vessel place the steaming plate in the vessel cover the lid and steam them for 10 minutes remove them on a plate and keep it aside simultaneously grind the tomatoes into a paste keep this aside for later use heat oil in a pan and add mustard and cumin seeds once the seeds splutter saute the onion until light brown in color to this add the tomato paste and cook for 5 to 6 minutes now add the spices salt and mint leaves add one glass of water and mix well add the cooked dumplings and let it boil for 5 to 6 minutes transfer this into a bowl and garnish with coriander leaves fenugreek dumplings curry is ready one medium bowl of this curry has around 9 mg of iron Next recipe is mint leaves dosa. To make this recipe you will need 20 grams or 1.5 tablespoons of black gram. 20 grams or 1.5 tablespoons of split green gram. 1 bowl of washed mint leaves. 1 teaspoon cumin seeds powder. Salt to taste. 1 teaspoon oil procedure wash and soak black gram and split green gram overnight grind everything into a smooth batter using a mixer or a stone grinder transfer the batter into a bowl cover the bowl and leave it to ferment for 6 to 8 hours in a warm place once the batter is fermented add salt and cumin seeds powder mix well and keep this aside for later use grind the mint leaves into a smooth paste using a little water pour this into the batter that we made earlier mix everything well again heat oil on a pan pour the batter on it and spread it evenly like a dosa cook it on both sides until done mint leaves dosa is ready two small 6 inches dosa have around 9 mg of iron our third recipe is spinach chickpeas soup to make this recipe you will need 100 g or one bowl of washed and chopped spinach 30 g or 2 tablespoons of chickpeas 1 small chopped onion 1 teaspoon cumin seeds powder 1 teaspoon pepper powder you will also need 1 teaspoon roasted sunflower seeds 1 teaspoon garden cress seeds soaked overnight juice of half a lemon salt as per taste 1 teaspoon of butter procedure 
Wash and soak the chickpeas overnight. Add the soaked chickpeas and spinach to the pressure cooker. Add half a glass of water and pressure cook it on medium flame until 4 whistles. After 4 whistles, switch off the flame. Open the lid of the cooker after the pressure releases on its own. Keep this aside to cool. Transfer this into a mixer jar and grind it into a smooth paste. Keep this aside for later use. Heat butter in a pan. Add onion and saute until it becomes light brown in color. To this add chickpeas and spinach paste. Add spices and salt and mix well. Add half cup of water and cook this for 5 minutes. Transfer this into a serving bowl and squeeze half a lemon. Garnish with roasted sunflower seeds and soaked garden cress seeds. One bowl of spinach chickpeas soup has around 9 mg of iron. Our last recipe is beans curry. To make this recipe, you will need 15 grams or 1.5 tablespoons of mott beans sprouts, 70 grams or 100 milliliters bowl of washed and chopped French beans, 1 small chopped onion. Other ingredients required are 1 small piece of dry coconut, 1 small cinnamon stick, 2 to 3 cloves, half teaspoon carom seeds. You will need 1 teaspoon of coriander seeds, cumin seeds, black pepper, sesame seeds, poppy seeds. You will also need half teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of oil, salt to taste. Procedure We will make mott bean sprouts. Wash and soak mott beans overnight. Next morning, strain out the excess water using a strainer. Tie the mott beans in a muslin cloth and keep it in a warm place for sprouting. Note that time taken for different beans to sprout may vary from 1 to 3 days. It also depends on the weather conditions. Next, pressure cook the mott bean sprouts and french beans together. Keep them aside for later use. Heat a pan and dry roast all the spices and seeds on a low flame. Once the seeds splutter, transfer them onto a plate. Allow them to cool and grind them into a fine powder. Keep this aside. We will use it later. Heat oil in a pan and saute the onion until it turns light brown in color. To this add the cooked mott bean sprouts and french beans. Mix well and cook this again for 4 to 5 minutes. Add the prepared spices, seeds powder, turmeric powder and salt. Mix again. You can add half a glass of water if it is dry. Close the pan with the lid and cook for 5 minutes. Transfer this into a bowl. Beans curry is ready. Half bowl of beans curry has around 8 mg of iron. Include these recipes in your daily diet for good health. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for joining. Welcome to the spoken tutorial on iron rich non vegetarian recipes. In this tutorial, you will learn about 
role of iron in the body preparation of non vegetarian recipes rich in iron iron is required for several vital functions in the body we require iron for growth brain function memory and concentration it is also required for cell function and hormone synthesis iron also helps in maintaining strong immunity dietary iron is present in two forms heme iron and non heme iron heme iron comes from hemoglobin and myoglobin found in meat hence non vegetarian food are good sources of heme iron for example goat meat goat liver chicken liver spleen lungs etc non heme iron comes from vegetarian food for example legumes grains and green leafy vegetables heme iron is better absorbed as compared to non heme iron to further improve the absorption some points have to be kept in mind pair your meals with vitamin c rich foods you can garnish meals with coriander leaves mint leaves or lemon juice vitamin c rich fruits and vegetables can be had along with meals do not consume tea or coffee along with the meal they hinder the iron absorption let us now look at the preparation of some iron rich non vegetarian recipes the first one is goat spleen fry ingredients required to make this recipe are 100 grams or 2 goat spleens 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste half teaspoon of chili powder coriander powder cumin powder 1/4 teaspoon of garam masala powder turmeric powder you will also need one lemon and a handful of washed and chopped coriander leaves take salt according to taste and 1 tablespoon of oil or ghee procedure first wash and clean the spleens thoroughly put them in a pressure cooker and add 1 glass of water add salt and turmeric powder close the lid of the pressure cooker on a medium flame cook until 2 to 3 whistles open the cooker only after pressure releases on its own take out the spleens and cut them into pieces the water in the pressure cooker can be reused while making soups or curries next take ginger garlic paste spices and juice of half a lemon in a bowl apply this paste on the pieces of spleen keep it aside for 20 to 30 minutes heat oil or ghee in a pan and fry the spleens on medium flame cook well on both sides and sprinkle the juice of half a lemon on it garnish with coriander leaves goat spleen fry is ready one bowl of this recipe will give 50 mg of iron the second recipe is a dip made from chicken liver ingredients required to make this recipe are 3 chicken livers half onion 2 cloves of garlic salt and black pepper powder as per taste 2 tablespoons of butter procedure wash the chicken livers thoroughly heat butter in a pan and add chopped garlic and onions then add the chicken livers and saute it on medium flame for a few minutes cover the pan and then cook on low flame for 5 to 7 minutes let it cool 
and then transfer it in a mixer jar. Add salt and black pepper powder. Grind it into a smooth paste. Chicken liver dip is ready. It can be stored in the refrigerator in an airtight container for up to one week. One bowl of this recipe will give around 16 milligrams of iron. The next recipe is goat lungs curry. Ingredients required to make this recipe are 150 grams of lungs, handful of washed coriander leaves, handful of washed mint leaves, one small onion, two green chilies, three tablespoons of curd, one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Spices required are one teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon cumin powder, one teaspoon dried fenugreek leaves, one fourth teaspoon black pepper powder. Take salt according to taste. You will also need one tablespoon of oil, ghee or butter. Procedure Wash the goat lungs thoroughly. Cut them into small pieces and keep them aside. Take coriander leaves and mint leaves in a mixer jar. Add onion, green chilies, ginger garlic paste and curd. Grind everything well to make a smooth paste. Heat oil in a pressure cooker. Pour the prepared paste in it. Cook until the smell of raw onion goes away. Then add the lung pieces. Add coriander powder and cumin powder. Also add black pepper powder and dried fenugreek leaves. Mix everything well and saute it for 1 to 2 minutes. Add 1 cup of water and close the lid of the pressure cooker. Cook on a high flame until 1 whistle. Then cook on low flame for 12 to 15 minutes. Switch off the flame. Open the cooker only after the pressure releases on its own. Goat lungs curry is ready. One bowl of this curry will give 10 mg of iron. Instead of lungs, you can also use goat kidneys to make this recipe. Our last recipe is sorted dried small shrimp. Ingredients required to make this recipe are 20 grams of dried small shrimp, 1 small onion, half a tomato, 3 green chilies, 5 cloves of garlic, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 tablespoon of washed and chopped coriander leaves. You will also need 1 teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon cumin powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon of oil or ghee. Procedure Take the dried shrimps and soak them in a bowl of water for 10 to 15 minutes. This will remove the extra dirt from the shrimps which may be present. Wash and then keep them in a strainer to remove the excess water. Meanwhile, take green chilies, garlic cloves and cumin seeds. Grind them into a coarse paste and keep it aside for later use. Heat oil in a pan and add chopped onions. Saute it until light golden brown. Then add the chopped tomatoes and cook until they become soft. Add the spices and mix well. Then add the small dried shrimps. Once it is cooked, add the green chilli and garlic paste which we had prepared. Mix well and cook for a few minutes. Sorted dried small shrimp is ready. One bowl of this recipe will give around 4 milligrams of iron. 
include all these recipes in your diet for good health this brings us to the end of the tutorial thank you for watching